Hello all, Shoestring here. What do you do when the grid's down, it's cold and wet outside, and since it's cold and wet outside, you don't really want to cook outside because, well, it's freezing out there and the wind's blowing. So you can't use your grill and you can't really use your camp stove. So what are you going to do? I'm going to show you a solution that I use here. It's a portable butane stove from Chefmaster. It's only about $32. It's just one of the solutions I've found. I'm doing it here in this small kitchen in the home set. I have my alternate light sources and my alternate heating sources. That's, that's my big buddy. We want to be able to use this in the kitchen where someone would normally cook anyway. It's safe to be used indoors. It's a Chef Master. 90027 countertop burner if you want to know the exact model number. And you can set it right up on your range. Like I said, it's only about $32 and it's a great solution. And I buy these packs of four. This is butane now. So butane, one is safe and two, it lasts a very, very long time. So you can take several of these and just store them. Now I'm going to show you how to set this up and how it works. Okay? It comes with this nice little case. Uh, the case is pretty flimsy, to be honest. And it's kind of cheap looking. But, like, it's still a case. So, we set it here. We're going to take the stove out of the case. And set it right here. Make sure it's all set down easily. Okay, it will take up to a 10 inch pan, by the way, and it has over 7,000 BTUs of cooking power, so that's pretty good. Now, I can't really tell you how long one of the cans will last because it depends what you're cooking, of course, and how long you're going to cook it. I think it runs for about an hour and a half on high, will run a can out. But, of course, you don't have to always do it on high, and you don't have to last that long. But that's just to give you a general idea. Now, let's get one of the cans. I'm going to open this up and show you how to do it. Now, remember, if you like this type of video, please subscribe and like. So the first thing we're going to do is take this cap off. Real simple. Of course, when you're not actually using this, put the cap back on. We're going to open this up. See the little notch right there? It goes right into here, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You take it, and you fit it in, just like that. Then you take this latch where it says it's on release now, because it's released. We're going to lock it straight down, and it locks in place. You simply close it back up, and it is now ready to be turned on. Take it from off. Move it down to the on. You can hear it. Just one more click, and it comes on immediately, every time. Now we just take it and move it up to wherever temperature you want it to be. Now, like I said, up to a 10-inch pan, you can put a saucepan and boil water. You can put a frying pan, and you can fry. Just about anything you can do on this stovetop, you can do with this. And like I said, it is safe inside which is what I like. You can see how the flame's adjustable. Shoestring likes to do inexpensive, cheap solutions that actually work. And this is something you can use. It's only $32. Or find something like this. There is a lot out there. I'm saying this one because it actually works for me. Okay, so to turn it off, you just keep rotating it till you get to the off. And there it is, off. Take just a few minutes to... For it to cool down, you want to take your can back out. Don't want to leave it in there. Just go to release, unlocks it, take it out, put your cap back on, and you're good. Make sure it's all cooled down. Then you just close it back up, put it back in your case, and you're done. It does come with a little user manual. All the little warnings. Government requires them to put on everything. And a little on installing the butane fuel can. But 
is pretty simple. I showed you how to do it. And there it is. If you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. Put something down in the comments. Tell me if you have used one of these. If you know someone that, you, or you used an alternative. There are other type of stoves like this out there. And shoestring out.